Welcome, and thank you for joining us to help you ace your Let's Move Active School Assessment and Action Plan. I'm Sean Gustafson, the Let's Move Active School Manager in New York City and Los Angeles. And I'm Kayla Bowman, Let's Move Active School's Customer Support Center Coordinator. We'd like to make this an active learning video where you can follow along on your own computer. So please open up your internet browser, log in at www.letsmoveschools.org and follow along. Sign in with your email and password that you used when you registered. If you forgot your password, click on the forgot password link and it will send it to your email. The entire Let's Move Active School team and many supporting organizations are here to help you lead the charge to make 60 minutes of physical activity for every student an everyday norm in your school. Before we jump into the assessment and action plan, just a quick reminder why being a Let's Move Active School champion is so important to helping our nation's kids reach their greatest potential, both in the classroom and in life. Let's Move Active Schools helps your school develop a culture in which physical activity and physical education are foundational to academic success by streamlining the selection of programs, resources, professional de development, and funding opportunities. So that, and it even gives you a customized action plan. We want to make 60 minutes of physical activity a day simple for teachers and strategic for administrators to implement. We all know that active kids do better with increased test scores, improved focus, better behavior, and enhanced teamwork skills. So we're thrilled to mobilize your expertise and leadership in providing more opportunities for quality, physical education, and physical activity before, during, and after the school day. Throughout this video, we will discuss why completing Let's Move Active Schools assessment is an important step to getting your students moving, as well as explain the assessment questions and show you how to activate your customized action plan. First, let's talk about the value of the Let's Move Active School assessment. Consider it your growth chart or barometer for physical activity and physical education in your school. The assessment tool is designed to be the annual benchmark of your learning environment showing where your school shines and areas where you can improve your programming, ensuring you are on par with national standards, trends, and developmental appropriateness. Even more, Let's Move Active School is rooted in multiple evidence-based strategies. For example, the Let's Move Active Schools adopted the physical activity questions from the CDC School Health Index for its assessment, making it easier for schools to implement proven policies and practices. Each time you make progress throughout the school year, make sure to update your assessment to unlock incentives along the way. After you log into Let's Move Active Schools and you're on your dashboard on letsmoveschools.org, the first thing you wanna do is to make sure your account is linked to your school. You should see your school name at the top of the page and in the right-hand corner. Also, you may remember during registration that you had to select a membership role. You must be a team member to view and complete your school's assessment parents and community members can be fans, but they will not be able to see the assessment. If you need help linking your account to your school or changing your membership role or any other questions, you can always click on help at the top of the screen for detailed instructions. Also by clicking on help, you will see how to call or email us for more information. We are here to help you, so don't hesitate to reach out. You will also see a progress bar on your dashboard displaying the status of your assessment and noting how many questions you have answered. So to start or keep working on your assessment, you want to select Evaluate on the left-hand menu. Depending on your grade level you work with, you will either have 9, 10, or 11 questions. Then you're going to click on your first assessment question to get started. Here's an example of a question that appears on every assessment for all grade levels, K-12. to It addresses the availability of physical activity breaks during the school day. The question defines physical activity breaks as actual breaks that occur in the academic classroom, allowing students to take a mental or physical break from current academic task. These breaks can occur at any time during the school day, last a few minutes, and occur all at once or several times throughout the school day. The question is then followed by four answer choices. The bottom choice corresponds to the guideline not being in place currently at your school. The next one is if it's somewhat in place, then mostly in place, and finally, the top choice is if it's fully in place at your school. Since each school is unique in how it provides these opportunities for physical activity breaks, the choices allow for adaptability, autonomy, and flexibility um, at your school. If you have trouble deciding between different answer choices, we recommend selecting the lower level. You can always go back and update the assessment. For right now, just make sure to answer each question. 
Also, the four selections for each question allow your school to see improvement over time. And we recommend updating your assessment a couple times each year to celebrate the progress you're making to having a more active school environment. Another question format is designed by criteria. For example, in this health-related fitness question about the integration of the Presidential Youth Fitness Program and Fitnessgram, the question lists the three necessary components, giving the physical Fitnessgram assessment to students, professional development about Fitnessgram, and student recognition for meeting the healthy fitness zones or their personal goals. You simply select how many of the components you currently integrate into your physical education program, and that's your answer choice. To move through the questions, you will click on Save and Next after each question. We recommend taking 10 minutes immediately after today's call to complete your assessment. It really only takes that long. After finishing your assessment, you are ready to activate your action plan. After completing the assessment, click on Activate on the left menu. The website automatically creates a customized action plan that meets the needs of your students and current school environment. The action plan includes the items your school has not fully implemented and matches you with the resources, tools, and grant opportunities to help you make progress in the identified areas. You can also print your action plan and share it with others at your school, like your school wellness committee, principal, PTO, or school board. Use this action plan as a way to jumpstart conversation around comprehensive school physical activity and to make the case for an active school environment. When you click on each action item, you will see a list of resources and strategies to help you implement the best practice in your school. For example, here is a list of free resources that are recommended for improving physical activity opportunities during the school day. One of the premier benefits of Let's Move Active Schools is that it brings together the best and most effective physical activity and physical education resources from its national cadre of leading health and education organizations into one place. The robust database is your source for all things physical activity and physical education, including the resources, programs, professional development, grants, tools, and implementation guides, all which have been vetted and approved by our national physical activity and physical education experts. Finally, you may need some additional help when developing a school culture where physical education and physical activity are foundational to academic success. So, each action item includes a national expert that you can contact for free technical assistance. For example, if you get stuck implementing physical activity breaks or brain ener energizers at your school, just email or con call Sean Brock, our National Physical Activity and Physical Education Advisor, who will help guide you to success. We hope you learned tips and tricks on how to ace your assessment and action plan. We look forward to working with you to get our nation's kids moving again and help kids reach their greatest potential both in the classroom and in life. You can also contact the Let's Move Active Schools Customer Support Center at help at letsmoveschools.org to receive personalized help during your active school journey. This completes our brief walkthrough of the Let's Move Active School Assessment and Action Plan. Please take a few minutes right now to complete your school's assessment after you log in to www.letsmoveschools.org. After you complete your assessment, you can discover the many resources and tools that Kayla mentioned in your action plan. Thanks for joining us.